because you did not want to go see this movie at all. Nope. As soon as I gave you the ultimatum of this or yeah, yeah. like, that other movie, I'm going yep, to go see yep. it. I'm going to go see the other one, yep. Because <laughs> I am not about to sit through that. <laughs> Well, what's good, everybody? This is Blaze Reviews. We're bringing you all these movie reviews from my perspective. I'm Kay. And I'm Eddie Rick. And for today's movie review session, we got to take a hit of the latest comedy directed by Malcolm D. Lee, starring Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish, and that movie being Night School. And Night School follows a character named Teddy, who's a high school dropout, but also the world's greatest barbecue salesman. Until one day, the barbecue place that he works at blows up, and he has to find a new job in order to keep his girlfriend off his trail that he's a failure so he has to in order to get a new job he has to go back to school get his GED and go to night school where he meets the hard nosed teacher Carrie who makes it a little bit difficult for him to get that uh, GED he always hoped to get so now him and his classmates try to do all these shenanigans just to graduate so they could get better jobs I guess I mean, going into this movie, like, you didn't get to see it today, but right. what got you excited to kind of go see it? Well, um, I was curious about the chemistry between Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish. Yeah. Uh, Tiffany Haddish stole the show, obviously, in uh, the, uh, the... Girls Trip. Girls Trip, yeah. also directed by Malcolm D. Lee. Mm -hmm. And um, Kevin Hart, I mean, he's shown plenty of times. His track record, you know, speaks for itself. Yeah. I think he was really good in Jumanji. Oh, well, yeah. Um, but at the same time, I mean, his track record does so his bad side. Oh, no, <laughs> there, there's definitely some some turkeys on there. Mm -hmm. But um, I was curious to where they would go. I thought the premise was simple enough. And yeah. They could go where they wanted to go with it. Yeah, and I was curious to see how him and Tiffany Haddish would work out together mm -hmm. and stuff. And like you said, Malcolm D. Lee did Girls Trip. Mm -hmm. And that was actually a big surprise and stuff. Right, so right. Maybe Night School can be a big hit like Girls Trip did. Or maybe this is just going to be another one of those boring Kevin Hart movie that everybody's just tired of. But I mean, like, let's find out as I give you all the highs and downers I got from Night School because Malcolm went to go see another movie today, which we'll get to in another review, but let's get into some of the highs I got from Night School. So I guess like the first high I got from taking a hit of it would have to come from two stars, Tiffany, Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish, but more specifically Tiffany Haddish. Yeah. I liked her character throughout the movie because she played like that hard-nosed uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. Like I thought she was just going to be like a, a old dramatic self like she normally is in all right, the movies. Right. Kinda, she's kind of getting typecast. She probably had more direction in this, oh, yeah. uh, more specific direction. I mean like yeah, Malcolm D. Lee did it, her in Girls Trip, so right. I guess he kind of knew how to direct her a little bit better right. than most right. people do. Probably. And yeah, she didn't do that over-the-top stuff that she did. I mean, like, the first time I saw her on the screen, she did like the, her normal booty pole jokes <laughs> that she's contractually obligated to do it I guess in every movie Maybe, yeah I think so yeah <laughs> but after that like her character settled down and she just became like a good teacher mm -hmm. who every now and then made some good jokes and stuff okay. and like her and the, chemi the chemistry between her and Kevin Hart I thought was really good oh too. that's good even though Kevin Hart wasn't the greatest in this movie and stuff but <laughs> I thought like when they worked on the screen together and stuff yeah. like it was good mm -hmm. uh, I guess another good high I got from it was some of the jokes in the movie <laughs> Like, I mean... <laughs> oh, yeah, you're, you're the biggest fan, right? Yeah. Uh, no, not really. I'm kind of getting tired of Kevin Hart's stick and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. there were some good jokes that weren't revolving around his stick. Oh, okay. He told, like, actual jokes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Some of the physical humor in the movie worked, especially from, like, the other cast members. Mm -hmm. Like, his classmates, like Rob Riggle and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. He was actually really good in the movie. I think, oh, well, well, Rob Riggle usually delivers. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. Like in, what, 21 Jump Street and stuff like that. Oh, great. yeah, yeah, it's funny. It, like, that, his character in 21 Jump Street was kind of like what he was in this movie okay. and stuff, too. Just, but just way out of the box. Yeah, yeah. Just in school. That's about, <laughs> yeah. that's about the only thing that was different. But I mean, like I just said, like the some of the jokes hit, mm -hmm. but we'll get into some of the downers now because there's not that many highs for for this movie. Boo this man! <laughs> but I mean, yeah, some of the jokes hit, but not a, not a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot of the jokes hit. This is the same Kevin Hart stick over and over oh, again, man. where he just tries to ad lib all the time, but it just does not work. Yeah. I mean, like, he's a good ad libber though. But yeah. His latest couple of movies, besides Jumanji, he's just seemed like right. he didn't try. Well, Jumanji, he went kind of against type. Mm -hmm. And only in little those min the little spurts did yeah. he kind of do the Kevin Hart thing. But, but this one, yeah. he wrote this movie, so he was going to make sure he got his ad lib. <laughs> <laughs> and he did that shit way too much. And it lasted for, everything just lasted for way too long. Mm -hmm. Like, whenever they introduced the classmates and stuff, he thought it was just like a quick five minute second. Right. You know, they went on for like 15 minutes just... Whoa. They were trying to crack jokes that weren't whoa, funny. Whoa. And I was like, wow, where's this movie going? Well, that sounds cringeworthy right here. <laughs> oh, it was. For the most part, this movie was cringeworthy. Wow. And then, uh, I like, yeah, Tiffany was good and stuff, but 
the uh, and I said Rob Brigham's character and some of the other classmates were good, mm -hmm. but it never felt like their stories were truly fleshed out. Oh, okay. Like that. Yeah. They were introduced with these character stories and stuff. Like you're like, oh, maybe they'll pan out in the movie. Then it so, went absolutely nowhere. Like Predator, but without the Predator. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah basically, <laughs> since Predator tried to be a comedy and stuff, but. This, I think, mean, honestly, I think I got more laughs out of Predator than I did this. Uh, Ouch. At least Predator kind of knew when to stop. This yeah. one did not know oh, when to stop. No, no. You, you, because I, like I said, I got some chuckles out mm -hmm. of it. But then I'll be like, okay, it's still going. <laughs> and, and it's still going. <laughs> and it's still going. All right, come on now. Yeah. And, I mean, Malcolm D. Lee can direct, I guess, good stuff, but this mm -hmm. one just felt like it was poorly directed. Oh, stuff. wow, wow. So this one was not hit, as sharp as like oh, his no. other films, yeah. He did a terrible job directing this. And like the, he, he also did the Best Man films, too. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. That was, that was our, yeah, those are actually really good. Yeah. yeah, But this one, the story was awful, and like even the big climax that you know is going to happen in mm -hmm. the movie, it's all predictable, so you know it's going to happen. Yeah. But how they do it, I'm just like, wow, that was so underwhelming. They rushed <laughs> it, yeah. It, it just, yeah. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I, you know yeah. what happens in the movie if you saw the trailers, basically. Mm -hmm. But there's no surprise in the movie whatsoever. Dang. Characters were boring besides the Tiffany Haddish and like Rob Riggle. Mm -hmm. Really, this was just a boring movie. Like, I was, really thought this movie was about to blow my high because there was a, <laughs> you know how I feel about dance battle scenes. <laughs> they had a dance battle. They went to prom oh, and I was no. like, oh my god, here comes oh, these dance no. battles. Oh, no. <laughs> but it wasn't a dance battle like Uncle Drew or nothing. Oh like man. It was just like a small Well, I was going to say, this is, is this better than Uncle Drew? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll definitely say it's better than Uncle oh, Drew. Okay. Uncle Drew, I don't think I laughed at all in that oh, movie. Oh man, literally, we were sitting at Uncle Drew. Everyone's dying laughing around us. We're just like, what? <laughs> none of this is funny. <laughs> no, this is funny. And it was like the opposite effect in here. Nobody in this movie was really laughing. Uh -oh. Nobody, you know, it's a screen, early screen. So yeah. when the movie finished, everybody clapping. Mm -hmm. Everybody was just looking confused. Like, what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Well, I mean, and even it had some like lowbrow humor as well too. Mm -hmm. Like, like I said earlier, the booty hole yeah, jokes. Yeah, yeah. There was about the seven of those. Humor, yeah. Some fart jokes. Yeah. I mean, kids are cracking up, so oh, well, it's not a kids' movie. Yeah, there you but, go. I mean, ultimately, what would you rate it? Like, I was like I said, I wasn't gonna rate it the blue my high, mm -hmm. but I did get laughs out of it. So I'll say a hard pass that <laughs> shit with this shit. Like maybe watch it when it comes on BET or something. Yeah. Because it probably will be here eventually. Yeah, about a year and a half. Yeah. And if you're a Kevin Hart fan and not tired of his stick, this might be a worth the hit movie for you mm. or nothing like that but I'm pretty sure a lot of people are getting tired of their, their uh, his stick because you did not want to go see this movie at all nope as I soon as I gave you the ultimatum of a disc or yeah, yeah. Movie, like that other movie I'm going yep, to go see yep. it I'm going to go see the other one yep because <laughs> <laughs> I am not about to sit through that <laughs> but I mean hey that's just my high opinion what I want to know is what did you guys think of Night School did you get a chance to see it yet are you a fan of Kevin Hart and his normal stick or are you a fan of Tiffany Haddish and her stick if so let us know in the comment section below and hey, if you like good how movie like we do, make sure you like this video, comment, share, and make sure all important more importantly, subscribe. I'm Kay. And I'm A Rick. And always remember, blaze it.